All right, if you are following my little custom Glock 23 build that I'm doing, you know that I just got the stainless slide and I'm ready to put it together and put it on the gun. I had to do a little cleanup on it first, but it is cleaned up and ready to go. Now, since I did my first Glock custom build, which was the redo of Gary, a lot of people have asked me, is it difficult to put one of these slides back together once they've been detail stripped? Does it take a lot of work? Does it take a lot of extra tools? Well, actually, it takes zero extra tools. There are some tools you can have if you choose to, but none that you really need. So I was going to do a little video here real quickly to show you how you put this slide back together from scratch. Now, if you don't want to put a lot of effort into getting all the parts you need to reassemble the slide and you don't have the ones from an old slide you're replacing, you can just buy one of these little kits. It comes with everything in it you need to put your slide back together. Now, it does sometimes not come with one piece that you might need, so you might need to buy that separate, so make sure your kit has it. If not, you need to buy one of these. And these are an often overlooked part for a Glock. This is the little channel liner for the firing pin. Now, a lot of people don't even know that that's in there. Uh, if you're buying a new bare slide, it won't have one of these in it, so you'll have to put it in. It's just a little piece of plastic here. And this is a place where you can have a special tool if you want. Uh, if you don't really need one, you can just put it in with like a 5 16 inch dowel here if you really want to. But this isn't the perfect way to put it in. If you want to put it in a little more easily, you can get one of these little tools right here that are made specifically to put them in, and that's what I'm going to use tonight to put it in. The little plastic sleeve just goes right over that little area right there. Now this just goes in the little firing pin channel right here, and you got to make sure you get that all the way in there, get it seated all the way down. This little tool helps you do that. Okay, after several minutes of trying to put this in there, I think there might be one already in there. Now, I've never seen a uh, aftermarket uh, slide come with one already installed, but I think they might have, and it's really hard to tell by looking in there. So the only way I'm gonna be able to tell for sure is to take it out and see. And the way you do that is really easy. You just take a 5 16th inch uh, lag screw here, screw it down in there, pull it out. Yep, there was one in there, so now I gotta put the other one back in. Guess I didn't have to do this at all, but taking them out like this does destroy them, but it's better to be safe than sorry, so I wanted to make sure one was in there. Now there's one in there for certain. Okay, now that I've got the channel in the slide here, all I gotta do is take that little bag of parts and start putting them together. And like I said before, it's very easy, doesn't require any special tools whatsoever. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is put the extractor in. Now, before I actually put it in there, you know, the little holes where the extractor goes in, I'm gonna take a Q-tip here, which I've put oil on one end, and take the oil end and swab it out real good. Make sure there's nothing left in there, no debris, just clean it out really good. Make sure nothing's left over from where I bead blasted it earlier. And then take the dry end of the Q-tip and just go back through again, clean it out, dry it out a little bit, and then I'll put the extractor in. Okay, the extractor's got that little peg on it right there, and there's only really one place that can go, and that's down in that little hole right there. So you just slide your extractor right in. Then you take your little firing pin safety here, and all you do is take the smallest spring that comes in the package, put it in it, and that just goes in this little hole right here on the bottom. You just turn it up, stick it in there. Once you have that in, you can just press that in about halfway there and you'll feel your extractor locked into place. That way your extractor is in there solid now and your little firing pin safety is installed. Okay, now we'll put the actual extractor rod together here and you just put this little spring here on this little post on the end. Just slides right on there. Then there's this little cap that goes in the other end of it right there. That just goes right in there. That's how easy that goes together. Then that just goes in the little channel right here for the extractor rod. Now we'll just put the firing pin together. Now this is the only part that can be considered a little bit difficult. And there is a way you can do this with shell casings that makes it really easy. But I'm just going to do it by hand to show you that you can do it by hand with no tools whatsoever. First thing you do right here is take this little sleeve with the slot in it. Slide it open into the slot up onto the firing pin like this. To where the firing pin moves in it like that right there. Then just take your spring right here, the only spring you got left. Put that right on there. Then just hold that spring down with your fingers. 
take these two little halves of the front sleeve with the little spoked end up and just slip them around the firing pin. This is real easy to do if you've even got the slightest bit of strength in your fingers. Just squeeze that on there. Just squeeze those into place, let the spring slide back up over them, and there you've got your firing pin put together. Simple, simple, simple. Then the firing pin simply slides into the firing pin slot. Now that that's all together, you just take your back plate, start it in position right here. Take anything you want to push this down with. It can be a ballpoint pen, it can be anything you got laying around, no special tools required. Just push that in, push it up part way, then push in the extractor rod here or the thingamadoodle, whatever you want to call it. And then just slide this up into place. And there you have it. Your slide is fully assembled. So as you can see, easy peasy putting it together here couldn't be more simple. Just a very simple design, easy to work with. And uh, now it's completely together. Now all I gotta do is get some sights for it. Now I haven't decided what sights I'm gonna put on it yet. I'm kind of leaning towards TFO sights like I have on the other uh, G19 we have. But, you know, I'm kind of open. So I would like to hear suggestions of what sights I should get for my custom build. Uh, if there's any sights out there that you know of that you think I should try that you really like, tell me what they are. Now there is one condition on it. They kind of got to be around $100 or less and they got to be from Amazon.com because I got an Amazon coupon for $100 or not a coupon, a, a gift certificate. And I want to use it for the sites. So what sites? No limit on the sites except for that they got to be around $100, bucks, maybe a little bit more, a little bit less. And they got to come from Amazon.com. So if you've got a suggestion for what sites I should get, let me know and I'll get those on there. We'll get this custom build finished. Looks pretty good. Fuck, why is it fucking recording? Oh, motherfucker. Did I just turn it on? I didn't turn it on.